Hello everyone, I'm Sasha and I hope you have already read my blog post about how to create a simple Flutter app using Oricratus for authentication. But if you haven't done it yet and would like to check it out, then I'll leave a link in the description below. I assume that you have already cloned Flutter repository, installed Android Studio and also forked uh, our app. If you haven't done it yet, then please pause the video and do it. First of all, we want to use Flutter commands in every terminal session. And for that, we need to update our path permanently. So we open the terminal and type the following command. As you can see, we have opened the file of our shell where we can export the path to Flutter SDK. Here you need to type the directory where your Flutter SDK is saved and especially the bin folder. And Last but not least, we need to add this, the following. To close the file, we press Ctrl X, then save the modified file. And now we need to apply changes. For that, we need the following command. Okay, great. So the changes are now applied and we need a new terminal session. And it works. Good. So now let's get to the Android Studio. Open your Android Studio. And the Android Studio says that we don't have Android SDK, so let's install it. And here you can also specify the where you want to save your Android SDK. Of course, it will take some time, so see you later. All right, finally, the installation is finished and we can go to the next step. And the next step would be to add some more SDK tools. So we go to SDK manager, to SDK tools, and we'll add Android SDK command line tools. We need those command line tools in order to install packages for Android SDK or also for managing our emulators. Okay, so now we need to accept the license and I hope this installation will take less time than the previous one. Good, the installation is finished. So let's go to the next step. And there's one more important thing to do. We need to accept the licenses. For that, we need to navigate to the folder where we store our command line tools and accept the licenses. And for me, this is the path to my folder. And now we can accept the licenses. Okay, so all the licenses are accepted and now we can create an emulator. And for that, we need to go to Android Virtual Device Manager. Then we need to create a virtual device. 
And here is a list of all available virtual devices and I'll go for Pixel 2. As a system image, we'll select this one because it also supports API level 31. And now we're installing it. So the installation is done. And now we can go to the next step. And here you can set a configuration for your virtual device. For example, you can change its name or you can also change its orientation. For graphics, we'll choose hardware. And the Android emulator is created. We also need to launch the emulator for the first time because otherwise it will take too long when we'll uh, run the app on it. Okay, great. So the emulator is started. And to sum up, we have already installed uh, Flutter and Android SDKs. We installed command line tools and created a virtual device. And now we can go to our last step where we run the app on that emulator. For that, we need to open the forked uh, app repository in Visual Studio Code. And I also highly recommend you to install a Flutter extension for Visual Studio Code as it is a great tool that will definitely support you a lot while developing apps in Flutter. So now let's run our app. As you can see, we successfully installed app on our emulator and I can also test it and look how all the things work for example how state management work or how we send a request on Oricratos and that's all thank you all for the attention and have a good day bye bye